The half inch steel pin that's included with the deluxe alignment is used to help us get uh, run out, as an example, in things like our router, a shaper, or a drill press. Now, if I wanted to check the run out in my router column, what I would do would be to simply, I gotta get my router up a little bit here. I'm going to drop the pin down in my router and lock it down. Now I talked earlier about the different holes in this bar. You notice when I come to the very last hole here on the mounting bar that we're sure to making it over to that half inch pin. That's one reason we have the tip set included with the deluxe. If I take the long pin and all you have to do to swap these. Now when you get this kit you might find this tip is a little bit tight. Don't be afraid to take a pair of pliers. You know, don't grab a pipe wrench, but take a pair of pliers. Loosen this up. We can thread that little ball point out, and we can install any one of the tips that's included with our set. I'm going to come over. I'm going to lower my router a little bit. And what I'm going to do is line up on that last hole and lock this system down. Make sure the tip's tight. I'm going to center that as best I can. And again, we're going to zero the dial indicator. Now, run out at a router gets extremely important when you might be using a match set of bits to make cabinet doors and things like this because any wobble that you have on that bit is going to actually make the grooves wider and the tongue smaller and you're going to have sloppy fit on your doors. So once you get yourself zeroed, come over, spin your router, okay, a little bit at a time, and this is going to show you the total amount of run out that you have. Now realistically, you ought to be running within a couple thousandths of an inch, and, and you notice that I'm taking that reading very close to the end of the, uh, the shaft, down here where my router is locked in, okay. If you have a problem, with your router with excessive runout, one of the things you can do is what I did. I put in the extreme extension. This is one of the tools that we don't manufacture that we offer. But we also sell the extreme extension and the router razor. And with that extreme extension in there, it locks into the collet on your router. And what you can do is take a, a hammer and a block of wood to true it up. Okay, it's a very effective way to get a router to cut better.